the Bakken oil boom is being called the gold rush of the 21st century, and the people who live here are calling it the wild, wild west. It's brought thousands of people to western North Dakota and eastern Montana, and it will bring thousands more. Basin Electric staff is touring to see the effects. The first stop? Temporary Basin Electric offices, where some employees even live and eat. It's like the Hawkeye Hotel. <laughs> so they just sort of hang out here after hours sometimes? Yeah, there's a grill back there. Other contract employees live in trailers nearby. Basin Electric CEO and General Manager Andrew M. Sari asks about functionality and employee safety. Until card key access is installed, property and right-of-way specialist Kelly Suko talks about motion detectors. Now the problem with getting these hooked up is there's no landline. There's no phone connection here. Yet, yeah, this spring, they're planning on doing that. But we could uh, do like a motion detector with a light. Or, yeah, you know, that's on light. something. Or, like, more of a, it'd be sort of a standalone that you can yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Suko that's, that's and property and right-of-way specialist that, Valerie yeah, King show yeah, staff the office the trailer they'll, they'll be moving into right, next week. Other than some leaks to be fixed, Suko yeah. says the trailer yeah. will work well. So. Now, do we have people coming driving up here daily, weekly, what? Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't s very few daily. After the Basin Electric tour, the group meets up with Dale Haugen, general manager of Montreal Williams Electric, headquartered in the heart of the Bakken oil boom, Williston, North Dakota. Right there in that hill is about eight megawatts of load. Right there on top of the um, press there? Yes, so I mean we are going to put two express feeders right down to there. We do call for a transmission line. Montreal Williams plans to have 300 linemen working this summer. Now, just as you were talking, I saw that guy go uh, left to center there and go around all those trucks. How, uh, how perilous is the driving sometimes? Terrible. Yeah. Two major electrical loads are being built now. Gas plants owned by One Oak and Hess Corporation. The gas plants are, are 50 megawatts? No, they're not 50 megawatts themselves, are they? Uh, are they about One, Oak, One Oak is asking for 60 to 70. Okay. Hess is asking for 60 to 80. The timeline for completion is coming quickly. The first phase is May 1 of 2012. We have to have 30 megawatts for commissioning. Okay. The next phase we have to have... So you're saying in three months? In three months. Along the road you see RVs, trailers, anything that people can live in. The American uh, entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well up here as far as adapting and then the chance to see a Statoil drilling rig, from the equipment that goes down into the frack hole to getting up on the rig. They need to see what it's all about. Let's get up on the drilling floor, let's see the rig, let's get their hands a little oily and feel part of it. Some companies have built crew camps. This one houses nearly 1,200 people. We have 36 rooms off these two sides. Down each like hall, door after door after two. door. Terry Legions of Target Logistics shows a typical room. A bed, TV, bathroom with sink and shower. Everything is included. When you stay here, your foods, your meals are included. Your lawn, I mean, we don't do your laundry, but you can do your laundry for free. There's a fitness center and a meal hall. Yeah, they can eat 24-7. We have two hot boxes in the front, so if there's leftovers at night, Back on the road, there is always an oil rig in sight. That's unbelievable. I mean, they, they truly do just dot the horizon in any direction that you look. I mean, just looking out here, I see four, and I'm only looking in one direction. Hogan says the boom is something you have to see to believe. By touring that, you're seeing pockets of 8 megawatts, pockets of 10 megawatts, pockets of people living together that has made 5 to 8 megawatts. So, Lots of little pockets of load, and of course, pockets of load are never where you want them. They're all scattered all over your service area, but yes, pockets of load are a reality. A challenge for his cooperative and for Basin Electric. The thing that I really appreciate is Basin Electric uh, taking the time today and come up and realizing how much infrastructure and what kind of an impact this is having in North Dakota. It really is a, a great oil boom. It's the, it's the gold rush of the 21st century. It's exciting times. In western North Dakota with producer Jared Barnhart, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.